Welcome to Reformation and Revival Now, and this is our devotional series, and our topic today will be forgiveness. Now, this is a biggie, so I want you to pay very close attention and examine your heart and see where you are at with a brother or sister, a co-worker, a family member, a spouse. Very, very important for you to get the truths that are in these messages. Today I want to talk about forgiveness. It's one of the things that, believe it or not, we have to release our faith in order to be or order to enter into it. Remembering that Jesus Christ died to forgive us of our sins. A fight might start with a husband or wife, a violent a fight that could sow a seed of destruction. Or maybe your spouse catches you looking at another person's spouse or another woman or another man, causing distance in the relationship, in the marriage, which then only grows further apart. And one of the things that begins to happen, children who are not even a part of it get, get caught in the middle. And as it even goes further down the road, child is forced to take sides, dividing the family even further. It only gets uglier and uglier. So you have to make that first step to get counseling, to go in another direction. And somebody has to say, I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry. It's my fault. That starts your path back to reconciliation. Now God can start doing something to bring your marriage, to bring the forgiveness that is necessary. God can restore the marriage of old. He can give your relationship back, but it starts with believing Him. It starts with doing what Christ did for us in your marriage or in any other relationship, which we'll get to in just a moment. Now let's take a look at Mark 11, verses 25 to 26. And it reads, when you shall stand to pray, forgive, if you have aught against any man, or woman for that matter, that your Father also, who is in heaven, may forgive your sins. But if you will not forgive, neither will your Father that is in heaven forgive you your sins. There's power in forgiveness. Pure power. This is what Christ came to do when he gave his life on Calvary. Now, you may have to take the initiative. You might have to go into an embarrassing situation, but get things started. Begin to bridge the gap. Begin to take the steps toward reconciliation. It may bring some tears. It might bring up some painful hurts, but this is part of the healing process. To bring reconciliation and forgiveness takes an act of your will by the grace of God. To bring together people who were once friends back together, no longer enemies, bosom buddies, as you always were meant to be in Jesus Christ. Even in the case of church or even in the case of ministry, I tell you, friends in the church, friends in the ministry, are often driven apart because of unforgiveness. But God can reconcile you. This is the power of forgiveness. And this is what this series is all about. The best way to release your faith is to actually yield to the love of Jesus Christ. You know, it really doesn't matter if you have hurt in your heart and you're really angry only matters that you submit to God and allow him to start that forgiveness process within you because God is love. He will work it into you, but you just have to make a decision say, okay, Lord, I give my life to you and I release this person. I forgive this person because forgiveness is a technical term that means to forgive a debt. Well, to tell you the truth, you think you're releasing that person actually you're the one that's being set free. So set yourself free of nothing else and forgive. Release your faith to walk in God's love who forgave you of your trespasses freely. 
so forgive others of their trespasses. See 